Good morning and God's blessings. I come to you from Lima, Peru uh, today. A reflection on this weekend's readings. I'm going to uh, read just a part of it because there's uh, very long readings. And so from the book of John, chapter 12, amen, amen. I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. As we hear Jesus talk today about this reading, about this parable that he tells us of a grain of wheat and how it has to fall to the ground and die to then grow and produce much fruit. Uh, and so often we struggle to uh, keep our lives, keep our power, keep the things that we cling to. Uh, and we struggle and we scratch and we, and we claw at life itself. Often we fight against God himself for our lives and the things that we like. Very often these things are sinful things that we work vigorously to keep hidden, to keep secret about ourselves. But it's important that we let them go. It's important that we cling to the things of Christ. It's important that we learn to love him above all else. But that's a hard task. It's easy in the moment. Right? When we're filled, let's say, uh, filled with spiritual inspiration. Amazing time of worship music that often, very often, the uplifts us and makes us feel uh, spectacular. It makes us feel, feel very connected to God. But then we step out of that and we step into our real life. We leave the doors of the church. We leave our time of prayer. Uh, I find that I'm a wretched piece of garbage. And the closer I get to Christ, and the more that I die to this world, the more my wretchedness is amplified in the vast contrast of his greatness. Uh, but that's not uh, bad. It's discouraging, right? People see that, that no matter how wretched I am and how uh, abhorrent my sin is in comparison to that of the glory of Christ, he chooses to love me. He chooses to shed his mercy down upon me. And he chooses to lift me up. And so in order to be like that seed and to uh, die to oneself, set aside this life, and to live with Christ, we have to be willing to let go. We can't hold on tightly. We must loosen our fists and let go of what it is that we are still holding on to. I have a prayer that I used to pray often, and now I pray less because it's very effective. <laughs> it's... And I find that it's, a, it's so effective, even when I'm just telling people what it is, it still works. <laughs> and so, uh, as I was coming upon my, my thoughts and putting together this reflection, I, this, this prayer in particular, uh, came to mind. And I didn't want to do it. <laughs> I don't want to do it, but I have to, because uh, it is so effective, it is so helpful in the spiritual life. And so the prayer is very simple. Lord. Whatever I love more than you today, please take that from me. And whenever I say these words, within 24 hours or 48 hours, quickly, I lose something that uh, I loved more than I loved Christ. It's a sad reality of the state of who I am, that I have so many things in my life that I love more than him. That as much as I've given up all, all of my, uh, my life in America, given up so many things, career, what have you, to serve the mission and serve the Lord, uh, I continue to run back after things. As St. Paul says, let's not be as dogs after we vomit and turn and eat our vomit, right? But we do. But we do. But we need to let go. We need to open our hands. We need to open our souls. We need to let go of what it is that we love more than Christ. And in that way, we are like that grain of wheat that falls to the ground and dies and produces much fruit. So I challenge you, if you're brave enough, pray that prayer. Prepare yourself. Don't pray it lightly. It's effective. Uh, God completes it. But love Christ more than all things. And rejoice if our worldly goods are taken from us and we only have uh, the love that remains in our hearts for him and him for us. Okay. God bless you. Have a beautiful Sunday. And go be missionary today.